Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. We're the 31st of March and as you can see there's a lot of snow left. It was about two feet higher than that in the wood over there. And uh, yeah, we did receive a lot of snow this winter. Uh, I did a lot of uh, snow plowing and work a lot. So I didn't have time to make any video on the sawmill here. And make any video at all. Here's the my stray cat there sitting on some wood I did cut in uh, December and January so uh, I did put a uh, shelter over the uh, sawmill here but I need to raise that tarp from there to there because uh, too much smoke get inside here and it's hard to if there's no wind there that's a little issue but uh, other than that, keeps sun away and rain and snow work nice. And uh, update on the sawmill here. Let me show what I did. I did uh, take those little brush here that I took at the dollar store. Same thing on the other side. They're spring loaded here, last, as you can see. This spring come from a little mouse trap. I got them at the dollar store, brand new. And uh, I did this bracket here to hold it down, bolt it. So, worked pretty nice because no more sawdust on the wheel. And uh, that helped prevent extra uh, tension on your blade. Because every time you put sawdust on the blade, on the wheel, between the blade and the wheel it will increase uh, the distance and get some pressure on the blade this way uh, less stress on your blade mean uh, you don't break blades that much yeah and it's working pretty nice I love it I glad I did it so this is really a good thing if you don't have any build yourself some and put them on other than that I didn't put my brand new motor it's still the 8 horsepower there and uh, here I need to show you something in the wood here <clears throat> I see that a lot on the on like uh, Facebook group there they're talking about those little worm that make holes but those get really big yes I will go put some food in your bowl yeah uh, that's a stray cat guys it, it, it don't <laughs> you see what he's doing you don't want him you don't want me to stop petting him so I have to watch I have to put some glove because he but he loves to be pet. And anyway, those little warm there, I put vinegar, pure vinegar in the holes, and uh, they go, they comes out, and no more problem. So it's not any, it's not dangerous. And yes, I will go give you some food. So that's it for that wood. I did uh, put here a nice beam. It's 5 inch by 6 inch and uh, it's strong enough to hold the frame and the snow. This winter it did. And I'm able to, I will back it up here so you can see on the other side there. I'm able to fit a 15 foot long log and roll it on the bed. If I have a longer log I will get it through there. I do have a guy who asked me for uh, 22 foot long beams, uh, those are 8 by 12s I have 18 foot long beams, uh, 18, 18 foot longs, <laughs> some are 6 by 8 and some are 8 by 10, 18 foot longs, uh, 18 in total, uh, I think it's 6, uh, 8 by 10. I, uh, if I remember from what he asked me but uh, yeah 
I have it right, write it down on the paper, but uh, I have a 30 foot bed, so I'm able to cut up to 26 feet. That's when I told him that. He was quite surprised. He said, oh, I need some beam. The guy who's milling his wood, only able to uh, cut 16 feet, 16 foot long on his sawmill. So uh, it's, it's not... Uh, it's doable, but uh, it's a little trick. You need to uh, move your log and it's not straight. I'm closing the door here. Sorry for the movement. I'm closing the door for the sawmill here. There you go. And uh, yeah, I need to cut. I have a friend, he wants some pine. So I have a friend who have, well, a few friends who have big trees there, pine trees. So uh, I will ask them for some log and I will be able to, yes, I will give you some feed. Wait a minute. Here you see I have some, uh, those are little beans. Uh, four by five, four by six. I have seven by eight, eight by eight. I have different size here. Uh, the reason why I remove the bark all around. I don't cut. I let them dry. I have some other pieces under the snow here, and then I will cut what I need in it as I go. I have a special tool that I will remove all the barks you see here. It's a little scraper. I got it from Princess Otto. It was about, what, 10 bucks. So, uh, yeah. And uh, from now on, I will take all the logs I receive, remove the bark before the little, little bugs do their dirty job there. And uh, no more bug problem. Mm. That's the way I think, easiest way to go. You let your beam dry like that and take the piece you need. So that's it for now. We'll upload the video later on about my little tractor there, my Massey Ferguson there. <coughs> I will turn the camera here. Yeah, I will make a little update or reviews on my GC1710. Uh, I have it for five years now and uh, yeah update coming up on that I will talk about all the little issues I did have with it they're not big ones because it's a good tractor what can I say it's reliable and uh, it's a good tractor and I did use it for uh, commercial use I shovel snow with it I know the guaranteed guarantees on it was five year, but uh, I lose a guarantee as using it as commercial. But I don't care. It's a really good tractor, and uh, doing snow with it, it's uh, small. Uh, it's easy to run around the corner there on the properties, and when you clean snow and really nice little machine uh, so I will do a five years review on it I have about 800 and uh, no 940 hours on it right now yeah 940 hours and uh, I have a fork coming in to put on the pins there uh, it's not a uh, quick attach I could put it quick attach on the pin not uh, skid steers uh, I did talk to the dealer there it's uh, oof, oof, 16 week he said for uh, having parts sometimes it's really really uh, with code what's going on right now it's really hard to get parts so you already have a pin attached, so I will get the pin attached. It's about uh, 11, 1100 for it. 
I don't remember. I think it's with the tax included in the 1100. So it's going to be. It will give me the tractor will lift 900 pound at the pin, and the way I'm lifting it at the end of the bucket there, you know my little uh, fork I did make make myself in front I, at that point I'm only allowed to raise around 700 pounds but on the pin you have a 900 pound uh, force so it will give me more strength to lift bigger logs but uh, I don't get so much big logs I have an arch that I did so it's more easier this way to get the logs around and what I'll do is uh, I'm making another log arch there a bigger one to get bigger logs here in front instead of on the side it will come and I will make a little uh, arch that will roll on the bed and I will use that little bed I will get those little wheels that you see there so this is the some update I will make you see those little wheel I will make an arch and a uh, jack that will be able to lift the log turn the log so it's gonna be easier for bigger log another thing I'm going to do is um, siding a uh, siding it will it's a piece of equipment that goes on the mill here and you take a piece like that and it will tilt it so you have siding bevel siding I think they call it in English I don't remember but uh, yeah I will be able to make some siding so this is coming up too so don't forget to subscribe put a thumbs up and uh, I will go feed my Three cat there and have a good have a good one and don't forget to work safe.